Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part five of our F12 configuration of masters, accounting masters literature as part of the playlist of magic of tally. Now, uh, in this session, we will be discussing about the various scenarios of uh, discount that the different organizations would want to handle or offer to their customers, right? So what are the different kind of discounts? So one could be a cash discount or trade discount. Apart from that, you would want to give some kind of an additional special discount. So there are various uh, use case scenarios where uh, different organizations would want to handle uh, the uh, management of discount in a different way. So we will see uh, broadly, uh, we will see three or four types of scenarios of uh, handling of discount in tally. Uh, and then whatever is the appropriate, uh, you know, uh, option or feature that you feel that uh, is suitable for your organization, uh, you could use this. So before uh, we go into the uh, F12 configuration of the ledger configuration, which uh, we need to continue with the more configuration options, uh, under the features itself, you have uh, an option where you can enable a discount column uh, in tally, and then you can provide discount. Okay, so we will see that first which is the most simplest form of handling discount. And we will also see what is the impact of managing discount through those options. And uh, that will be a good uh, you know, foundation for us to understand how uh, we can manage our discount values and the masters uh, suitably for the requirement of your organization. So now in tally, let us see how we can enable uh, the simplest form of discount and we will see by enabling and managing discount in that particular way what impact you have on your books of accounts okay so just remember enabling the feature is f11 feature so press f11 and if you come here uh, the option here is use discount column in invoice so by default this option is going to be no and uh, you have to just come here and then uh, enable this option to yes so you can click here and then make this as yes okay uh, okay so before before enabling this let us go and see what what change we are going to see right so i go to my voucher entry now and uh, you will see that uh, this is your sales invoice where you have uh, quantity rate and the amount column which is what we have been seeing all this while right so now i want to enable uh, i want to bring a discount column so you don't have to go to gateway of tally just press f11 from here and then come here and then make this option as yes control a okay and now you will see a new column uh, which gets uh, added in your invoice which is your discount column where you can enter your discount okay so let's make one invoice so i'm going to select a party okay and then sales ledger i'm going to select an item let us say i'm selecting this dell laptop i'm going to say one number okay so the rate has come we have seen all this now this is the extra option that is going to come here where you can specify what is the percentage of discount that you are now going to allow so let us say just for easy understanding let us uh, easy you know uh, uh, you know seeing the value uh, i'm going to say 10 percent all right so now what happens it takes the rate okay and uh, 10 percent on that amount all right so rate into quantity is one is the quantity so then 10 percent on that it is going to give you the net value enter accept this and here you will see 
it says quantity is one a rate is 28800 10% discount you are giving and the amount is 25920 uh, is your net rate okay so let me just save this let's take the tax amount also so i'm going to say cgst so tally will automatically calculate sgst okay so this is the amount Okay, new reference and I'm going to save this. Okay, now I'm going to press page up to recall this and I'm going to press control P. Okay, and then I'm going to come to preview. So when I come to preview, you see that, okay, so we have this quantity. So let's GST part, we will discuss in detail uh, when we cover the GST part. Okay, so the quantity is one, right? And then uh, the rate here, we have taken 28,800, right? okay and then the discount column is also come here okay and uh, if you notice here the amount is net of the amount net of your discount amount okay so this is also fine now what happens what is the impact now here your sales ledger is going to capture the value of only 25920 which is a net amount okay so and uh, you have we have not created any discount ledger so that in your p and account, if you want to see what is the discount value for a given period or for an entire year, what is the value of discount you have offered, you will not have that information, all right? So this additional column of discount is where you are going to specify the percentage of discount and it is going to reduce that and then it is going to capture the net value. So your sales uh, ledger is going to capture 25, 920 only which is net of discount okay there is another issue here so as far as this one item that you are selling is perfectly all right so you know the rate is 28 800 the customer now i as a customer i get this invoice so i know okay the rate is 28 800 the my supplier is offered me 10 percent discount so i am getting it at 25 920 now this becomes little difficult uh to easily you know mentally uh see the amount of discount that i have received in case where you have uh, say more than one item right so let's just go to the alteration of the same voucher and then we will see uh how do we handle this escape come back i'm going to come back here and let us say we go here and then we make this item into two numbers Okay. and we will retain the same discount at uh, 10 percent right and uh, enter here enter okay so now if you see here tally will automatically recompute the uh, gst also so i'm going to press ctrl a to save here right i'm going to press page up to recall i'm going to press ctrl p to sprint so now i'm going to preview i'm now i've come to preview here and uh, now you see here i as a customer uh i do not know uh what exactly is the amount so here if you see here the quantity is two numbers the rate is 28800 fine so my net amount is 51840 but then what is the amount of discount that i have received normally you would want to know that how much of money that you have saved right so now i have to take 28 800 into 2 minus 10 percent then i will know what is the uh, amount of discount or what is the value of discount that i have uh, got through this particular invoice right so this is where uh, you will have little bit of uh, you know uh, you will not have proper clarity on the amount of discount that you are having right so here again uh, the sales value that is going to be uh, recorded in your pnl account is going to be only 51840 okay so this is one way of discount where uh, you can handle your discount in a very simple form right uh, now we will see the other use case right so what are the other use case the other use case could be uh i would want to let's say i would want to give this discount here okay and also maybe i would want to give some kind of a special discount 
apart from this let's say this is going to be my trade discount which i'm going to handle in a simple way right and uh, we will also see through our ledger master f12 configuration how we can make this discount management much much better right so if i want to give additional discount then i can create an additional discount ledger and i can do that so these things like how do we get into so this is a simple discount management that we have seen we will see in the next session uh, how do we handle the additional uh, discount uh, options uh, which which by 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 understanding these various uh, you know methods of discounts which you can handle you can choose the right one for your organization so thank you all very much for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much